Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Just a second. Control. Let me make sure that that comes up. Okay. Uh, I kind of just wanted to play a game quietly and just relax. So I am here to do that. Audio is working. Good. Good, good, good. All right. So what were we doing when my computer exploded? That way, right? Yeah, chill. Just chilling. Quietly. Relaxing. The usual. Low energy. So aren't you doing a collab right now, Vig? What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. Yeah, we were over in this area and then the game exploded. I thought about starting something like Resident Evil, but... Dear science, there's a person in my pet salamander. He has human eyes. Why doesn't anyone else see him? I think it's like werewolves, but with every animal. Wear dogs, wear cats, wear otters, wear butterflies, wear everything. There are people inside and they can't get out. They're stuck in the animal body. It's not all animals, but it can be any animal. My parents don't believe me. Maybe this has happened before. I thought you would know. Sincerely, John. Well, John, I'm sorry to say, uh, you might be having some problems, brother. Yeah, the game exploded right here. There we go. Got this. This is easy. Uh, we got a box. Oh, yay. Neneki, Maneki, ne oh, it's the cat thing. Uh huh. Uh, it was original. It was first discovered sitting in the director's chair and was immediately contained in a panopticon cell. The next day, an agent noticed two additional figurines had appeared. Hours later, all three vanished. The items had been sighted throughout the bureau, appearing while agents perform redacted tasks. Interesting. So they just kind of show up in places. Got it. Makes sense. 
I mean, obviously it doesn't make sense, but, you know, close enough. Close enough for government work. Got a typewriter that I shot. Windows. Right. The bureau does not have windows. If you notice a window, immediately close your eyes and make your way to the nearest safety. You are permitted to fashion a blindfold from an article of clothing. Any resulting last will be excused. Interesting. So if you see a window, don't. That makes sense. Just don't see the window. Just throw that at me, it's mean. Oh, well, he's gone. That works. Oh, hey, you came back. I'll just take over your mind. There. Now everybody's happy. Goodbye. How did you get back up? No. Go that way. What? Stop that. No. You two can just kill each other now. If you don't mind. Thank you. Wait a minute. What happened to the... Oh. Got stuck. Neat. I hit him with a box.
There we go. Come on. What the fuck? There, bitch. Game trying to tell me that I'm not actually hitting anything. Oh joy, more people to kill. No. No. Pickaxes. Y'all hiss are annoying as fuck. Is that where I want to go? No. Where am I at? I'll forget it. Bricks. Ah. 
think I missed. I fucked up. Goodbye, cruel world. Your rocks, bitch. Oh, for God's sake, go away. You can see this because I don't know if I'm really here. I see a pen in my hand to see myself, but it's all wrong. It's the wrong angle. It's the wrong me, and it's all green. Look out for the color green. Everything turns green when it's close. Don't let it get close. Don't let it in. Well, that's a problem. I always knew the color green was up to something. Sneaky son of a bitch. Why they use it for camo? the wrong button. Another box. And a tape recorder. Three, if you count me 
COVID still happening. As a result, we are abandoning the foundation. Northmore gave the order to transfer our resources to the upper floors. Now that my control points allow us to safely come and go from the New York streets, did I forget to include that fact in my previous logs? I think so, baby. Using the arrays I made, control points have been established throughout the oldest house. Excuse me if I don't sound excited. It's good. A few months ago, I would have been overjoyed to leave the foundation. But now I realize that I've grown fond of it. There's something deep in the stone here, deeper than that walking presence. Something warm. I feel it needing me. I won't go. I refuse. Northmore won't be happy, but so be it. I'm starting to see him for what he is. An impotent storm. Father Shane in a cheap suit. I really like the box physics. Yeah, look at that. That's some good shit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's some good box physics. And another one bites the dust. And there's the rock. Oh, fuck you. here. Hey. Don't be mean. Come towards the death pits. The death the traps. Come on. go bitch hey what have I said about throwing pickaxes it's mean Doing. You're just standing there. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh. Are you having fun? Ooh. All right. That's that. Any logs hiding from me? Nope. Wrong button.
There we go. Okay. And another one bites the dust. Our recent confrontation yelling was an error. We decided, determined, you may have both tools upgrade. Only because you are the favorite current director. But do not listen, speak to former. You are welcome. Okay, but what if I do it anyway? Oh, there we go. There we go. We are nearly whole. They sure changed their tune all of a sudden. Yeah, the board kind of needs you, so they don't want you to hate them. I'm overthinking this whole board former thing. They can sort out their own business so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do, but I've got my intuition. And you? Oh, hey! Another light switch. That's convenient. And we're back. Give us a call on the radios if you need help out there, Director. What happens if I shoot them? Nothing. Okay. Well, we know that now. First kiss and now <laughs> Fuck your radar Don't dish. Be a stranger. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Hello, Emily. Almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. If we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the foundation? But if so, why didn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they returned to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the broken peak that we need. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Well, clearly she couldn't handle this one on her own. I'll see you later, Emily. Goodbye. Good luck. Take notes. I will not. It's good to know that FBC agents are immune to my bullets. 
Okay, where next? I went that way. I went that way. Um... I know you'll take care of this, Director. I'm not worried. Where is Research Site Gamma? Whoop! Wrong button. Uh... It's back here somewhere. So let's go that way. Alright. I've got five points. Let's get the last upgrade for that. And then I have two points to spend on something else. Like that. There we go. That's the deep cavern. Open the door. They're coming. Oh no. Oh god. How do I open the map again? Can I open the map? There it is. Fuck. Should I go backwards? Yep. Research site gamma. It's back this way. Oh, fuck off. Go away. This way. Hey, look, a box. There we go. Hey, what are y'all doing? You okay? You're just standing there. You're mine now, buddy. And so are you. <laughs> Let them beat each other up. Bitch. Yeah! We did it. Here's your reward. Go away. Oh boy. Yeah, it so certainly has. Than I'd like it. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. Expect answers, which is why I oh, you know what? I've already done that. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that I already listened to that one. He's got in. Boom. The nail. Pile of 
smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? Well, let's see what she has to say, shall we? The hiss got in. The foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench would have been thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The Hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. I see. Oh, it's a thingamajig. Neat. <laughs> Fuck you. Go away. Fucking this. Astral plane anomaly bullshit. Y'all are annoying. Hey, look, a rock. Fuck you, rock. <laughs> uh, it was down there. So I guess I have to go this way. Oh, hey. Back up. There Hi, you Mr. are, Jones. buddy. Let's kill some bitches. Boom! Ah, oh, shit. I see you, sniper. Piss off. buddy
Oh, there it is. You're mine now. And we're gone. Is that everyone? They all dead. All right. What's this door? Oh, nothing. But there was something on the other side. Fuck. Now I gotta go look. Oh, would you look at that? Hello, Ranger. You can leave now. Go home to your family. Actually, that's not true. You can't go home to your family yet. The building is still on lockdown. Where's the rock? What's over here? Oh, boxes. Nice. Nothing quite like some toxic astral plane gases to clear out the nostrils, am I right? Hello, rock. How are you doing today? All right. This is the last one. I can't believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready. Uh. Well, in all fairness, it was better than the hiss getting to it. She was not wrong there. Fixed the ball. There. Easy as pie. Fuck. But that's the last one. I fixed it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that's bad. Shit's fucked. Shit is fucked. Oh, thank God. Shit is fucked big time. Why would she, though? She doesn't know any more than you do. The pyramid? Apologies, how embarrassing. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Well, that's nice.
Hmm. Hey, look. It looks like the red crown from Cult of the Lamb. All right, four points. Melee damage. There we go. I need to get a corrupted sample. Gotta figure out how to do that. Emily, why is everything fucked? What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. It has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. Oh, that's not good. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable it's going to destroy both planes i messed this all up maybe marshall was right to destroy the nail i should have left it in pieces then the astral plane would still be leaking in sometimes there's no right answer jesse we need more information no i need to fix this now i'll just i'll figure something out we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. Okay, but why are you being a butthole? See? I told you we were gonna die down here. Will you shut up? Do not panic, Dr. Saba. Keep monitoring those tremors and get me some actionable data. I hope I know what I'm... That was just the top of the nail. How much deeper does the foundation go? Entry day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins. To hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I mean, that makes sense. I if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. Can a place know the future? Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's. Not mine. But here... In this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. Yeah, Jesse, you need to calm down. You're being very silly. The crystals are growing crazy here. Almost like they're trying to stop me. They probably are. blew up the nail. The board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. Hmm. I tried to get out after the detonation, 
but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board said it. We never did see eye to eye. They had yeah, it sounds about control. right. Over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everyone. All right, calm down. Jesus Christ. Nobody else hears the house. Their ears are too full of lies. But all of them are victims of the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope do we have? I decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course, but I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion? I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. Well... This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. Shit. The hiss are in for it now. Hello, sir. Oh, it's red as fuck in here. Director? Or, fuck. Marshal, is that you? Hey, it looks like the hiss got in. Marshal? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but the other one is red in the God damn it. You know it is made of right. You must take side. everything. I am not letting you take this. I've always been with you. If you want this to be true. Goodbye. Where is she? Where did you get all these grenades, Marshall? Damn! 
Ah, fuck. Marshall, hey. Come on. It's former. Apparently, former is helping me. Go away. I got my dick shoved in. Oh, wait. Ranger's not here. Send a ranger out. Director's orders. Hey, buddy. here goodbye Suppressing fire. hey come on come on come this way come on goodbye <laughs> yeah, put that back. Goodbye. That's a lot of grenades. I'm out. Go away. some of these ads holy shit come on Marshall come back down here Woo. 
Archie, it's hard. Come on. Come on, do it. Come on. Oh, you little bitch. Fine. Bitch. I'm sorry, Marshall. The nail is corrupted. There. Now she's dead. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. Yeah, we gotta pull the hiss out of the big obelisk. It's like pulling an STD out of a cock with my bare hands. Hallelujah, the board says. We hope you will improve your attitude slash loyalty. Fuck you too. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to hold on to them. Not yet, anyway. Um, you're assuming they can't read your mind? Oh god, I fucked up. Hold on, let me break it and then put it back. <laughs> so that it doesn't disintegrate out from under me. Hello, former. What are you doing here? Oh, it's fucking dark, bro. The nail is secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I doubt that. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her Bureau together? Yay! We did it! We saved the world! <laughs> I thought I know how to handle things now that I'm the director. Clearly, it's not that simple. Nope. I need to choose a direction for the Bureau. It should be one that serves our goals, not the board's. Whatever those are, I need to lead my way. Okay. Oh, there we go. I was wondering when they was going to give me my uh, camera back. Yeah, fuck you! Okay. Oh, hello, Director. Hello, Emily. Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Be careful. Did we do this? Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Did you find anything? Anything unusual? Define unusual? Emily, sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Wait. Was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. 
In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the Hiss corrupt the nail? Did they want me to cleanse it? If so, why? Interesting. What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before we found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. You know, standard, uninteresting methods. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Or antiquated. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... Well, we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under... Uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that... Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Well, imagine a one-eyed bug thing. I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened and now it's... separate? Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or group or conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although it could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet, but I can prioritize this matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. Eh? I mean, you could just do it. That's what I did. I just showed up and picked up the gun. And started fixing things. Because shit was fucked. More melee damage, seize duration, levitation duration. Let's do that. Yeah, why not? All right, we've still got a couple of things. We gotta do the mold. What's this? Yeah, another crisis resolved. Scrutiny is not permitted enjoyed. Tell the sidekick Pope Snoop to leave. Oh my god, that's funny. Why do you... Never mind. Never mind. Plans and contain the flamingo, mannequin, and rubber duck. Sealed threshold corridor. Go get those. Knock that one out. Whoop. going exactly oh hello no nah, i don't want to fight you leave me alone get where do I need to go hello door 
This is the checkpoint. So, not where I need to be. Okay, I'm here. Tell me what to do, video game. Oh, look, a box. There we go. I do not see a flamingo. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, no, that's the other. Hmm. Interesting. Does anyone else see a flamingo? Because I don't. Maybe I have to go around. Like all the way around. I don't give a shit about y'all. Just get out of my way. Annoying fucking pieces of shit. Is the flamingo back here? I mean, this is where the anchor was. I don't see a flamingo. Where is the fucking flamingo? Hmm. Let me go look at that one first, then. And go that way. The rubber duck. Well, hello, rubber ducky. Altered item number 52AE analysis, session two. We will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric cable. But how do I get in? I see it. Response. Next, heat via a standard Bunsen burner. Go away. Next, I will attempt to Can Yeah, shut up. Now will the door open? Hmm. 
Well, this is unusual. Alrighty. Oh, okay. I see. I gotta go this way. Because that makes sense. Get out of my way. Ducks. Great. You little shit. Got him. There we go. Finally, no more quacking. We did it! The mannequin is in the prime candidate program. Where's the closest one? Logistics? And then I have to figure out where the fucking flamingo is. I'll probably have to Google that too. Oh, wrong button. Uh, that's security. Oh, I'm just breaking everything. Go away. I don't want to fight all y'all every time I walk through a fucking room. It's super annoying. Oh, here we go. Hey! Why isn't that door open? There we go. All right, mannequin. Where, where are you at?
I'm sure this won't be creepy at all. No. Turn off. Go away. Y'all are so fucking annoying. Mannequin. Oh, there you are. Hello. Uh oh. are pretty creepy. New hero policy. No more mannequins. Yeah, seriously? You know what? I think we should just ban mannequins. Forever. Because they're fucking creepy. the way out. Gotta go this way. Let me get out of there. <laughs> okay. Where is fucking Flamingo? Flamingo. Where is it? Ba 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 ba. Really? Where is this door?
Oh. Uh oh. That's got to be an altered item. Hello, friend. Oh, fuck off. This thing again. Doing this after doing the foundation is a little weird. Holy shit. Yeah, go away. I thought we had a rapport. I never did like flamingos. Too pink. Not all flamingos are pink. That's racist. No. All this paranormal power contained in one place is a risk. Makes me wonder what other dangers are locked away inside. Your systems are up and running again. I told you I could do it. We never expressed an opinion that implied doubt in your abilities. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports. And multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but that's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. Mm-hmm. Will you stay on after things calm down, Langston? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing out the hits. My cat gets separation anxiety. I'll do what I can. Oh, no! He must have gotten a pet sitter. Any thoughts on me serving as director? I know it was a sudden change. Oh, uh... No complaints so far. Trench was all secrets, lots of meetings behind closed doors. You seem much more approachable. But if I can give you some advice, ma'am, keep a grip on who you are. I've been here a long time, and I don't know if it's the job or this place, but people change here, and not for the better. I'll try to keep my head on straight. Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out during all this. Staffing, we definitely lost some people. Uh, gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? Huh. Hard to imagine the FBC at job fairs. The hiss <laughs> are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable-ish. Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable-ish. 
Fair enough. I'll see you later. Get back to your shit. Alright. I guess I could do this, though. God, this is a lot. Ugh, do I care? I don't know if I do. Uh, seize, duration, levitation. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let me think. Let me, let me think. Jesus Christ. It's all in research. Let's do this. One second. Let's go. Uh, sector elevator is acting up. Yeah, I found a Great. file on the old director, Northmore. Didn't list any dated death. You, uh, you know anything about that? Yep. It'd be an error. The record staff process a lot of data. Maybe it just slipped through. Yeah, maybe. Man, I never thought I'd be working in the exec. Look at me now. All right. Let's see if Pope has anything. Nope. Nothing new. You sent Director Faden. Please, Emily. <laughs> Welcome back, Director. Darkness engulfed the elevator. Oh, it's Wake. There was something there. Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. <laughs> Investigation sector, huh? Yeah, that's a little, uh, concerning. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Faden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star and the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense, as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away. And made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A man desperate to escape. She sensed something else, too. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance. Waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator door slid shut with practice bravado. Uh -huh. Check this out. That's not concerning. 
I mean, it's very concerning, but, you know, it's not that concerning. I see. Would you like to open the door for me? Thank you. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, nope. Not. Shit's fucked. Here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead, from the containment breach yesterday. Jonathan, Ezra, Carolyn, Lindsay, Charles, Derek. Uh -huh. Well, that's fun. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Darling investigation. Uh huh. <laughs> Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. I see. Casey inquiry. Mm hmm. Interesting. Tractor. Oh, joy. There's a tractor. Resignation letter. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, I could have taken the stairs, but that was more fun. Damn, there's a lot of fucking shit in here. Well, he fucked up in that report. Uh-huh. 
Ooh, ethics. And the director was not fucking happy. Uh huh. Anything else? Oh, another one. A lot of reading in this one. Uh. door and another document Good job, guys. You fucked up. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. The Blessed Organization. Yeah, all right, that sounds about right. All right, I'm going to go pee really quick and then we'll continue. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm gonna take one second to do something. I just want to change this. Uh, I want to change the stream elements bot so it will stop posting those so often. Let's change you. Where you come on. Forty-five minutes. No, actually, I'll leave it at thirty, but I'll require that. I require that people actually post before it starts. There we go. And I'll just have to adjust that as time goes on. Checking a couple of things. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. We should be good to go. I also got some chocolate. Let me hit the live button. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. We'll just break it all up so that I can just grab it while we're playing. There we go. Do we know each other? I don't think so. I feel... this feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. Hello, Alan. How are you doing these days? Protagonist I played in my my old film. I'm a filmmaker, an auteur like yourself. Uh huh. Working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Ah, oh, night springs. Oh. I saw Dr. Darling for a second. Endless darkness. No, 
fucking hold still. But we're very close, you know. You've been riding. You found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding? You found a way! No. I, I don't... Wait. There's something. It's my double. He's out there. I've seen yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Okay. Well, that's confusing. That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. The, the, he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. Oh. Okay. Dr. Neil Hartman, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose, killed everyone it could, lurking, roaming. Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied, the thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune. Could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't, and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Okay. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Well then. Oh look, it's one of the thingies. Fuck you. Oh yeah, that door is fucked. Well then. I guess I have to go this way. Damn, that door is fucked too. Hey buddy. Man. They harvested so much of that stone. Like, holy shit. Creepy. 
be damp and abandoned. Why did Wake want me to come here? Okay. So this is creepy. Um That doesn't look like a house shift. Nope. I know one thing. Shit's fucked. I found a material that I did not have before. Oh, good. The hisser here. My feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Interesting. I'm sorry. How do I get in there? Huh. I don't know how to get in there. This... I don't 
Harkness is blocking the door, so now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. I see. So we're dealing with the darkness from Alan Wake now. Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. Not a big surprise, all things considered. Jesus Christ. Why are there so many fucking drops in here? Alright, y'all need to chill. Um... Good lord. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'll keep that one for now. Ammo cost per shot is down. Get rid of that. It's garbage. I need a light source. Oh, hello. Lots of lamps. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. Oh, joy, mold. No, oh, I can't go that way. I have not done that side quest. <laughs> oh, fuck you. So I wonder if this whole thing is that a guy that was taken over by the darkness from Alan Wake also encountered this. <laughs> because that would be very funny. Oh, you know what? Let me... Search. Well, that's different. Still don't have a fucking corrupted sample though. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Phaeton. Alan, do you mind not making my life harder? I'd really appreciate it. Resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman. Vibrating. Remolding. The sound changes the darkness. Okay, so yeah. The changes the sound. They both change what remained of Hartman. So the darkness and the hiss they encountered each other. Something else. The third thing. The Great. sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. 
the third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crash to the darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Except where she came from. methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are very impressed. Mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. So I don't know how exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think, wait, shh. This time, or I swear to God. What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Where's my. Still spinning. Yeah. Okay. This is creepy. Interrogation complete. Yeah, okay, I can see that that would be a big fucking problem. NASA. Wow.
Yeah, that makes sense. It might be a good idea for the FBC to... Will you shut up up there? You got it, boss. Train derailment. Damn. This DLC is pretty fun. Oh, you haven't finished it yet. Interesting. The Shadow. Uh-huh. Good stuff. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. <laughs> We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will turn away from our eyes, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckoned the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answer to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. All right. 
hit the power. And the hiss did not like that. darkness is draining me oh good so we're dealing with that now too the darkness in here is powerful great Oh, fuck. Shit. Now what? What is that? Yeah, fuck you. Get out of here. Vending machine. There's one up there. Hartman. I see. Why the fuck would you guys do that? Oh, you don't like that, do you? Hi, you fucking bitch. Hello, what do we got here? Come on. There we go. Door. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. Spiral shape marking.
I'm just checking the room for other readables. Wow, that's a big fucking light. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I did. I did the movie? Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night with a not not night like nighttime, but who contacted you? Who told you to do that? I did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I thought I thought it was I'll get listeners. My podcast will take off and I can live out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. The kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Fair enough. At least the interrogator was smart enough to realize that she was wasting her time. Oh, hey! Arcade machines! Shoom. Shin? Shoom. Whatever. Shoom. Shoom's good enough. Might as well turn those lights on too while I'm at it. Hey, another record. Night Spring screenplay, page one. I don't fucking care. I really like breaking everything. <laughs> I am the director, so I can do whatever I want. Crowd control. Ooh. What is this? The goal is to survive. Good luck. Okay. Oh, you're mine. Oh, hello. I haven't fought many of you guys recently. Oh, whoops.
There we go. You're mine now. And so are you. Damn time. that ball go there we go Now, explodey. There you are. And now you're dead. There we go. Who's next? Oh, there we go. Hello, guys.
What the fuck? Hello? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Gatling gun guy. Okay, okay, buddy. Calm down. Man, this place is a fucking mess. Is it over yet? There we go. Okay, laser beam, calm down.
Ugh, where'd you go? There we go. I did it! Okay, in all fairness, that is an altered world item, or like, that's an altered item. <laughs> um, not really fair. Oh, there's a bunch of these. Gonna call it quits. We've been going for about three hours, and this is the second stream of the day. So, thanks for hanging out again, big. Uh, <laughs> who are we gonna raid this time? I think it'll be pretty funny if we raid Voodoo twice in one day, so I'm going to do that. Good night, everyone.